The Class B plus slash Class C market is one of the hottest markets in the RV industry. And behind me is the Integra Coach Quest 24R. That is a new edition of introducing the 2024 Integra Coach Quest SE 24R, which is $40,000 cheaper than the original Quest. We're gonna show you all the differences on the outside and the inside, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Quest and three things we dislike about the Quest SE. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. When I came to the lot today, I saw this motorhome and I'm like, what the heck is this atrocity? Why would they do this to the Quest? And then I looked it up and I figured out that it was over $40,000 cheaper than a regular Integra Quest. And as these prices keep going up, it made me super excited to show this unit right away. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going? It's going good. Matt, are you telling me this is like a whole brand new floor plan? No, same oh. floor plan. Same floor plan, but the, the fact that it's economically priced better yes. is going to be a real pain on the other manufacturers. Super, super exciting. Yes. Not only that, it's competing with itself, a traditional quest. So with that begin, Andrea, let's begin. Model is the Integra Quest 24R SE, the SE edition, Andrea. The actual tip, tip length is 25 feet, two inches. It has 35 gallons of fresh water, 31 gallons of gray water, 31 gallons of black water. Here's some of the differences. Up front here, we still have a very nice molded fiberglass front cap. I like the way it's molded. I like how it says Integra but it doesn't have that awesome front windshield that Integra normally does have. This does have the new Mercedes 3500 chassis, okay? It is, let me read it so to make sure I'm accurate because these have changed. The two liter, four cylinder twin turbo, 211 horsepower, and it is 26.4 gallons of fuel capacity. Again, they both are the Mercedes 3500 chassis, but this is the lower end chassis that has this plastic part right here where the other one's all metal you know what i'm saying so it looks better not only that if you come on down this does not have full body paint full body paint by itself is knocking off ten thousand dollars look at these tires andrea they're the kamuho oh my come home come home tires i love those LT215-85 R16. I can promise you it's cheaper tires on this unit too. I've never, I have never heard of those. Never heard of that brand. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Not only that, Andre, is something that we're not going to see. There's no ladder to get up on the roof. But this unit is a TPO roof to whereas a traditional Quest is going to be a fiberglass roof. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. With, with Wait till you guys hear the sale price of this unit. It's fantastic. Right here, we do have mirrors on both sides. Still a nice fiberglass running board to get in and out. And then check this out. Nice uh, side cameras right there. So you got cameras on your left side, right side, and reverse. Even though this is the Quest SE, it's still an Integra coach. So it does have the two-year warranty, three-year structure warranty. And something that surprises me is that, that they still give you the frameless windows. And you do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Right here, we do have a propane kill quick connect. Blah, 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 blah. Quick connect. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And then right here is your propane tank. And Miss Jen, bing, please put all the specifications about this motorhome right there for everybody who is watching on television. We do have more storage right there. Very okay. nice. Love the metal compartment. And I love the fact that they're giving you the slam latch doors. Also, something that I want to point out on the Quest it's going to be the aluminum slam latch doors, but still, I don't mind the fiberglass as long as the slam latch. Also, the Quest is going to have an inverter and solar panels on the roof. This is only solar prep. Again, price point. Price point. Uh, water heater right here, and I really don't hate it. It's kind of like, kind of like the Winnebago Vita versus the Winnebago View. You know what I'm saying? And we're talking forty thousand bones, Andrea. That is a lot of money. Coming around the back, we have a very nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. 5,000 pound hitch, I don't recommend towing 5,000 pounds. You're good with at least 4,000 pounds. Any more than that, no before you tow. Very simplistic looking back. 
And right there, we do have a backup camera right there. And then coming around, we do have 30 amp hookup here. Okay, very nice. Right here, low point drain. Love this water hookup, city water, black tank flush, potable water fill, potable, potable. black tank, uh, the valves, everything enclosed right there. And then there's where you're dumping your tanks. Right here's gonna be something that you don't need access to. Um, so there's no handle, but this is gonna be for your motors, for your Murphy bed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Over here, we got more storage. Love that. And then here, Miss Andrea, is your Onan LP3600 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, check out the inside. Wow. Cargo carrying capacity, 1,007 pounds. Okay, all right, guys. We'll wall slide here. So as you can see, it's a pretty good walkway. Um, does get a little bit tight through here. I think you can still open the fridge a little bit. Yes, actually you can open it a lot. And then it has a rear bathroom. Yeah, and while we get the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the Corps of Engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andre, there's definitely a few things on the inside. I'm just, I'm not gonna point out all of them, but one is gonna be the refrigerator's a little different on this. You're not getting the nice solid surface countertops and you're not getting the nice high gloss style of cabinetry that you're getting in an Integra Quest. But again, it doesn't make this not nice. Not only that, if you come over here, uh, you're also not getting like the Firefly or the Fireplex. Forgive me for not knowing the exact name, but like that nice touch screen and everything. You're getting traditional buttons, but guess what? Sometimes traditional buttons work better than the high-end technology. You know what I'm saying? To each their own. You ready for this? Up front here, Mercedes, Mercedes, cockpit area, okay? Very nice, you got the big tenant screen, lane assist, adaptive cruise control, everything that you want, but here's where your backup camera's gonna be. Really nice, Andre, really nice driving, really nice experience. You got your cup holders, air conditioning controls, and everything. And when you're driving this motor home, it's fantastic. Not only that, right here you got memory seats, heated seats, power locks, power windows, adjustable mirrors there. And these memory seats are nice because it helps you swivel the seats around. Now, this is the new chassis. Okay, not the new chassis, but the new engine, I mean, for Mercedes. Very, very nice. And uh, let me tell you something. I can't personally tell the difference. There might be an expert in the world that can tell the difference. I personally cannot. Andre, do you feel different up front here? I don't. It kind of feels the same yep. as the other chassis. Um, you know, I have good, I have good leg room here. I like that they have the memory seat in here. These seats do swivel. Yep. And there is a pedestal table that would go there. Very but, nice. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels, you know, just like the rest of them. Very, very good. And you know what? You, you say that almost in like a derogatory term. Oh, no. But in like, you're all like, just like the rest of them. I don't mean but it like that. I, I know. It. It's more like, just like the rest of them. Yes. Because the rest of them are a lot more expensive than this of one. Of course. And again, it doesn't look as nice on the exterior. But again, it's all about that drive. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Got a bunk over the cab yes, here. Yes, ma'am. Probably holds 500 pounds. It's a little one, too. Yep, little one. Uh, it's up there. Nope. I'm not. Oh, here it is. 750 pounds. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Uh, I like how they added it's not for, made for sleeping when the vehicle's uh, in motion, which is nice. <laughs> uh, and also you have a little bit of cabinetry up there. And there is going to be a tether here for like a cargo net. 
All right. Okay. So it is a good size. I mean, it, it's a good size bed. Yeah, definitely. Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. Okay. Before you do, show us that too. Sure. Got a little cabinet up there. Yes. And then over here, we've got a, a huge cabinet, Matt. Very nice. Um, I love all this counter space. Okay. I gave you a round sink. Good space for our trash can there. And Got a flip up counter over here as oh, well. Oh, really? I didn't and see that. And the EQ electric stabilizers. Okay. I did not see that at all. That's good. And then um, I don't know if there's storage behind here. Oh, there is storage. Okay. So pull that. Andrea. I cannot do it. Andrea, it's right oh, here. Oh, gosh. It's okay. If it was a snake, it would have got you. There it goes. There you go. Don't say that. <laughs> right. I'm not terrified with... of them. So you got some storage there and also on the other side, if you can see that. Yep. And you can just push this back. I like that this swivels, though. And you know what? Everybody's doing these smart TVs now. It's so nice. So we've got three drawers here. One, two, and then a bigger drawer down here. Very nice. And then above... We have more storage. Wow. And then a convection microwave. Very nice. The two burner propane suburban cooktop. Yes, ma'am. Oh, huh, this is different. What's different about it? I don't know. It just. Oh, it is a different. It go, feels, go all the way up. It feels lighter and it feels, I don't know, like it moves better. Let me look. Here, here. I like that one. Oh. If it's going to be glass. <laughs> <laughs> if it's gonna be glass, that one's the better one, I think. Oh, that's what yeah. it is. Look. Oh, dang nabbit. <laughs> Were you trying to slam your fingers? No, but Okay. It just sounded a lot louder than what it was. But make sure you don't let it go, you know, but it is kind of like an uh, an assist. You know what I'm saying? It's got a drawer here. Another drawer here. These are actually good sized drawers, I have to say. Very, yeah, very good. And then a Furion compressor refrigerator. Very nice. Good size. And then over here, I don't know if this is the pantry. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Well, it's going to double as pantry and yeah. bedroom storage, especially in a small motorhome like this. It actually goes back pretty far. And the reason why is because your bedroom is your living room, right? And we're going to show that in just a few moments. But first, Andre, I want to show everybody this dinette. We have very nice storage above. Okay. Very good. Very good storage above. Nice, um, nice balances. You know what I'm saying? Privacy shades, just like that. A nice dinette that drops down to make a bed. You got cup holders there. And why are you pointing at that? Is that because I, I forgot something? Yeah. Hang on a second. Check out these balances, Andrea. Approved, bing! Oh, Andrea loves those balances. Andrea was looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, why are you looking at me crazy? <laughs> I ain't crazy. And then she's all like pointing. I'm like, oh, sorry. Right over there is the car seat tethers for the dinette. Again, it drops down and makes a bed. And let's see if there's storage underneath the dinette. Oh, of course there is. With the piano hinges. Good job, Integra. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Yes. And you know what? Integra is my favorite brand of Class C motorhomes, especially the Mercedes type for the year 2024. Do you know what that means? I don't know. May, it might not be for well, 2025. I guess I have to wait to hear this. I don't know. I don't know what happens in 25, Andrea. But. I'm ready to hear this price. You know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. We just got, we got some big players doing, making big moves, you know? But it's about this coach today. MSRP on stock number 301. 882, which is a Quest SE 24R, is $187,193 MSRP. So just of those who are worrying, let me go to calculator, um, that is a $40,861 discount from an in, from a Integra Quest, traditional Integra Quest. With that said, we have this unit 34% off to a sale price of only 
$9.95. Wow. That is a phenomenal price. And again, Andrea, here's the problem. The market's getting tough. Things are skyrocketing. When every little component and every little accessory on every little handle and TV and microwave and chassis and batteries and tires goes up 30%, the unit just skyrockets. So to be able to achieve this at a sale price of that on is a Mercedes. On a Mercedes. It's fantastic. But guess what, Andrea? Guess what? I know we can do even better. All you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of my team will reach back out to you guys and get you guys the absolute best price in America. And you know what, Andrea? If you guys just have any questions, you can always email me directly, matt at mattsrvreviews.com. How you doing there? Doing good? I'm doing good. They're doing good too because now you can email me directly. You ready for this? Andrea, check this out. Here is your living room slash bedroom. So first, oh nice. Oh, these are nice drawers. Very nice. Comfortable, stiff, you know what I'm saying? It's not made to be the best sofa out there. It's a Murphy sofa. But let me tell you something, it does do a good job. I do like it a little fur. And I am looking to where that TV is right there. And that does swivel that way. So that's that's a big deal to me. Very nice. And then when it's time for bed, you take these out. Take this out. Oh, okay. Right here. Bam, whoa. Just like that. Would you look at that, Andrea? Very nice bed set up there. You got storage drawers up there. You do have USB, pogs of power, nice window, again with the valance and everything. And Andrea, this is a really good length. And this is definitely one of the best Euro bed setups that I've seen so far. What say you? I agree. And the bed is not bad. Yeah. And you know what? Especially on this unit. You can't buy a new mattress from RVmattress.com. Right. I wish they'd start making them where they're lighter and they it's would actually fit in these. No, it's not that. It's the shape and everything. So it needs to be a, a real custom size for this. So for Integra to give you a good mattress, that's pretty big uh, A+. plus. Not only that, we got power outlets everywhere in here, Andrea. It's now time for the shower. Got a pocket door coming into the rear bathroom. Check out all this storage. Here's the ladder for the bunk over the cab. Hanging there. wardrobe, yep, Door and the table. table. Wow. And that table is for the, uh, that pedestal table is for the driver's seats that swivel around. And then right here, our mirrored medicine cabinet. Oh, with oh. a liquefy! Our brand of RV toilet tank treatments, toilet bowl cleaner, and sensor cleaners. Guys, you can get this by going to Amazon or go to primepoopingposition.com. And Andreo, liquefy, drop, li liquid, powder, Oh my goodness, liquid, drop-ins, or powder. However you want to apply your liquefied, you certainly can. Thank you to everybody that has purchased. Nice sink right here. Storage under there. Yes, ma'am. The toilet paper holder is kind of far, right? Oh, it's fine. I'd rather have it far than Let me see your bed. arm reach. Okay, I guess not bad. Let me tell you something, Andrea. If this I need to get tight. to that toilet paper, it can be in the front of the motorhome. I'm getting to it, you know what I'm saying? This is a plastic toilet, unfortunately. Not only that, even if it was a porcelain toilet, it's very small and tight back here. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp, womp. Then to wrap it all in up. Oop, got a big step up right there. Nice 24 by 36 shower, Andrea. I do love this Nautilus style door with the curvature there. We got a Max Air fan there. Mm. Really nice, it does, it, or not a Max Air fan, but a fan. You could have one put there though. Yeah. Um, really nice. You got a nice window back here. You know what I'm saying? Just decent shower in the rear. Definitely seen a lot bigger rear bathrooms, but again, it's a Mercedes and you got to be careful with the weight and the length and everything. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things that we love about this motor home and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Um, let's do three things that we just like about it first. First one's on the outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me, you ready for this? 
I don't like this rear. There's no graphic. There's no swirl. There's nothing. There's nothing iconic about it that makes it scream Integra. You know what I'm saying? Give me a swoop or a swirl. Give me some identifying reason. I know it's a really petty dislike, number one. But the one thing that I loved about Integra is I'm driving down the road and I know it's an Integra. This gives me no indications of that. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? I need a dislike number two. No, I'll give it to you. I'm just going to say the whole rear bathroom. It's very small. It's very tight. I don't like that toilet placement. Don't like the plastic toilet. And even getting in and out of that shower, it makes it very, very tough. I hate to penalize this motorhome for it. But for me, there's so many things that I like about it that I just need to make that dislike number two. And then, Andrea, what is dislike number three? Oh, Matt, this is really tough for me. Give me a second. I don't even know. I can tell you. <clears throat> I can tell you right now. I'm going to say the bunk over the cab. Really? First and foremost, the size of the bunk over the cab is going to be really small. Two, I love how Integra gives you that iconic front windshield. So I really wish this had the windshield, but I get it. Price and everything. But if you wanted to make this even cheaper, you know what I would have done? I would have made it a smooth profile to where it was only a little bit of storage because nobody's even going to be able to sleep up here. You know what I'm saying? And I know that's kind of silly and stupid. Little but kids could. That's about it. You know what? It's dislike number three for me. And unless we have a third dislike, or I can give you another one, Andrea. I do not like these blacked out shades like this. Personally. That's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Would you like to go first or me? Sure, I you will go. go first. You go. Um, I am impressed in here with all the storage. Talk to me. For it being as small as it is. Like, I mean, you got that place right there for a pantry yep. and a wardrobe. So yep. I'm actually, you know, pretty surprised. Okay. That's, and you know what? I'm going to combo that with the storage on the outside, giving it the same latch doors. That's love number one. Andre, love number two. Loves Look at this phenomenal counter countertop space. Yes. You don't get this in a lot of motorhomes. No. Let alone a B plus Class C motorhome on a Mercedes chassis. Very impressive on the amount of storage there. That's going to be number two. And then, Andre, like number three, it's going to be how much cheaper it is than a traditional Integra Quest. Shaving off $40,000 from its predecessor, the Quest. You know what I'm saying? Full body paint's nice. The nicer chassis's nice. The fiberglass roof is nice. But you know what's even nicer than that? A sale price of one twenty two nine nine five, and I hate saying a price being my third like. But again, they're both twenty four Rs, and they both accomplish different things for different people with different needs. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying this Integra or any Integra RV, please go to generalrv.com slash madscash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to a member of my team and they will be here to help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes! Integra does read the comments, you guys. They do watch the videos, so... Please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time.